Loads of stuff happened in this week's episode, and I am about to go over it all. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. What is going on everyone, this is Ninja Geek here, and we are going to be talking about episode 14 called Spend, and we are only two episodes away from the season finale, it's getting there, it's almost close to there, and it is getting sad at that point. But on a brighter note, we have a lot to talk about today for this episode. There's a lot that happened in last night's episode, and it is going to be one of, I think it is one of the better episodes of the whole season. There's a lot of action in it, so if you do enjoy a lot of action, then last night's episode was especially meant for you, because some of the episodes of The Walking Dead are slow type. This one was really just all, like, it, there was, like, different stories going upon itself. So we're going to start off with Glenn, Tara, Noah, Aiden, and Nicholas, and basically, if you don't know Aiden and Nicholas, Nicholas are part of the Alexandria group. They go on a run to fix generators to get the power back up. That's just the general explanation for it. They take, um, actually they take Eugene. I don't know why I didn't write that down, but they take Eugene there with them to go along because obviously he has the brains, he has the smarts, the know-hows to do what, to get the supplies that they need to get. Glenn's obviously well on his feet and Noah can help them do that. I think that Noah, you know, went along anyways with them. Tara obviously went with Glenn the first run that they went out with. Uh, anyways, so they all go out on a van there. They're playing some crazy dubstep music for whatever reason. Attracts walkers. Yeah, I, I don't know. They, I guess they were just having fun there. Uh, Carol, let's talk about Carol this episode. She seems like she was just, like, getting worse to the, you know, I mean, it's kind of, like, different. You could view this from both sides, but obviously from last episode, we saw her kind of be really strict and really mean towards Sam, and this episode, you know, she's kind of has the same attitude, but then we see something happen with Sam, which I'm going to get into, uh, at the end of the episode, more or less, but... Here I realize something that Alexandria is not a safe place. I'm kind of sticking with my gut feeling on this. Something is going to happen with Alexandria, especially with the stuff that we're going to talk about coming ahead. Uh, Abraham. Abraham takes charge. I mean, we see him take charge in this episode, and I think that that is a really key fact and important fact because, you know, Abraham seemed like a good leader of his, you know, of his small little group, and then, you know, kind of like Rick was there, but I think that he's starting to, you know, take charge, obviously, because Toby, the guy who was in charge already of the construction site, just did a, t a terrible job, and here's where that rule again comes in, where Alexandria just doesn't know their rules, they're not appropriate appropriate rules at all, where they, I think their main problem is fear, they have never been in this entire world themselves, you know, they haven't been out there really enough, yeah, sure, they've went on a couple runs, they've done this, but they've been behind walls basically all their time, or most of their time, so they're basically shielded from a lot of the stuff that happens, so they're basically afraid so, you know, Toby's obvious just, obviously just like, no, forget about her when she falls off the crane. Uh, you know, I mean, that's just his instinct because he hasn't been out there in a while. But Abraham, you know, obviously he's been out there a really long time. He knows what it's like. So he goes to save her and actually does, you know, it's just, it, he, he needs to be the person that takes charge. And he did, you know, he's leading the group. Even Toby admits it when he goes to talk to Deanna later on in that time. So I think that it's just that they're just making these rules where people, they just don't know what to do about other survivors that just are being in terrible situations like that happen to be. The main part of the episode is actually, you know, the most intense and the most horrific scene. I mean, even from the producer's standpoints of just watching it over and, you know, actually filming and playing it out, it was just really gruesome that Nick or that Nicholas left behind, well, his own, you know, familiar person, Aiden. Obviously, he got, he blew up the zombie because apparently he had like some sort of grenade that was on him. Uh, that, I guess that was just by accident. Obviously, that wasn't by purpose on purpose but he ended up dying and you know Nicholas just kind of was just like no we have to leave him Glenn was actually trying to save him but didn't manage to make out obviously it didn't seem like he was going to make it out of there in one piece anyways I mean he had two pieces of 
like wood jabbing through his body. So even, you know, if they got him out, I don't know how long he would survive because they were pretty thick pieces of wood. So, you know, he ended up dying, which, I mean, he was kind of being a douche, as he called himself in the last episodes. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, I kind of am sad just to see. Uh, we don't really obviously know this guy a lot, but I think that he could have turned out well. The person that I don't want to see come back and is obviously going to come back because Glenn decided to save him is Nicholas because after that well uh Eugene and they're they kind of like come into this office area inside their warehouse that they're looking through because you know of course they get trapped after that scene happened with Aiden and you know Eugene says he'll stay there protect Tara so Glenn and you know they they go out Glenn and Nicholas and Noah they go out to try and find a way back out obviously they don't want to go back the way that they came so they try and go out the front way to try and make it out back to the van and in doing that they get stuck behind these revolving doors so basically revolving meaning like uh, I'm trying to think of places that have this maybe the mall um, the airport I'm just trying to I'm not entirely sure on which exact places have this and in like real life but you know the revolving doors that go around one way so like basically if one side is open the other side is closed so they are trapped in there but you know both sides are closed because it was obviously in the right position for both sides of the door to be closed and Eugene actually distracts the walkers leads them away and instead of listening to Glenn's order which was just to break the glass and they were going to jump through and just make it to the van Nicholas decides to be a complete retard and just decides to say you know what screw you guys I'm just going to go so he you know squeezes his way through the door and at this point you know obviously like I said mentioned before in that rotating door when you turn it one way it, the other side opens up as well so Nick squeezed through he managed to get out and Glenn and Noah are just in there and Noah just instantly just gets taken out and just smacks up against the glass and dies he says don't let go and uh, obviously when he said don't let go it didn't mean of his personnel you know body because obviously he there was nothing he could do you know he was his whole foot was outside of the revolving door it just was gonna happen uh regardless of what you know oh glenn could have held on tighter oh this oh that if glenn held on tighter he probably would have got pulled out too so you know i mean it was just like that it, the reason that that happened was because nicholas just didn't decide to follow the superior person's orders and just decided to screw everyone else and just leave upon his own time so I really hope that Nicholas dies, to be honest. I really do. I hope, I mean, Glenn gave him a good punch afterwards when he managed to get out, but that Noah scene was one of the most gruesome scenes of the whole episode, of the whole series uh, in, in a general form. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically it on that scene, and of course, then at the end, you know, Eugene also, by the way, he tr he makes an escape with Tara, I forgot to mention how he actually got out to the van, he actually pulled out his weapon for the first time and used it to kill two walkers. So hooray for Eugene that he actually manned up and was able to do that with Tara on his back, you know, especially because, you know, he's not just like walking through just holding a weapon. He's got to, you know, carry this person on his back trying to make his way through the van. Now, of course, we don't know if Tara is okay yet. She didn't seem too okay, but we don't know yet. She didn't, it didn't say necessarily that she ended up dying. So, you know, we'll have to see in the next episode whether she makes it or not. I would be kind of sad to be honest if we lost Tara she kind of like pulled the group together she wasn't like a main character until obviously after season three because that's when she came in but or, I mean season four sorry I don't know why I said season three uh so yeah that's basically it on that now I also want to touch upon Gabriel what the hell happened with Gabriel Gabriel I thought that I mean at first when I saw him I didn't know if I could trust him or not then he kind of got into the group he kind of got adjusted into this group and I thought that you know Gabriel was a good guy well not after tonight I mean if you go and tell the leader of the group that Rick's group is just dangerous and not them not to be allowed and calling them Satan even is just beyond me that's just like saying you know that's just like a terrible thing thing to say I mean even if it was just in a regular life you don't say that you know you feel Satan upon us because Rick's group honestly did not do anything wrong even on a poll question on the talking dead people you know it was like do you think that Gabriel did the right thing in saying that Rick's group was harmful and 97% said that he did the wrong thing and basically 3% said that he did the right thing you obviously know that Gabriel is just not a good person
person now. You know, I don't think that he understands the world that it is. I mean, maybe he's having a hard time with it, but still, there's no reason to tell on anyone else's group like that. So Gabriel, not a person that I would enjoy being around. Now, getting back to actual Carol, we can see that something he did happen before where Carol, you know, she tried to explain to Sam, she tried to come and reach out to Sam, but Sam ran back home. He obviously told Jesse and Pete, their mother and fa- his mother and father, obviously about the whole situation. Obviously, you could tell from that because when Carol even went to go to their door and asked if everything was all right, Pete said, this is not a good time and just shut the door on her face. So Carol basically tells Rick that Pete, you know, he just had has to die. So now, combined with that story, combined with the fact of what happened when, you know, Nicholas is going to return and say this stuff about how Glenn, you know, punched him and, and did all this and what happened at the warehouse and the fact that Abraham, you know, took control, I don't know what Deanne is going to go through in her mind. You know, she might even just let the group go. I have no clue. But something is definitely going to happen within the next couple of, ep- well, actually within either the second to last episode or the last episode and uh, we're obviously gonna have to see about that but next week's episode from what i saw shows carl and anid which is the girl that we talked about a couple episodes back and she seemed to have a little bit of an interest in carl not really though and we kind of i just wanted to see if there was some sort of bond between the two and we actually get to see them together outside in the woods they begin to talk about certain things not really that much talking but then some sort of walkers come over there i don't know how many there were so we just saw the moans from the walkers so they go and hide in a hollow tree together so we get to see that there's some form of bonding between those two so that's really it for this week's episode of the walking dead reviews a lot to cover in this week's episode ranging from noah's death to how the group is going to react to gabriel's you know ter- like terrible just saying of what he did to deanna to abraham's taking charge and like i mentioned just a couple seconds ago how the group is just going to react in general to all of this stuff that just happened within this episode in the coming episodes to follow season five is almost over so if you did enjoy this episode leave a like and subscribe for more content i'm ninja geek i'm out peace